Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on joint plots. In this lecture we'll continue our discussion on joint plots. In the previous lectures we saw that by default our joint plot will have scatter plots and histograms on the margin and we saw that we could pass an attribute known as kind to add a regression line to our scatter plot and a kernel density estimation fit for our histograms. We can also change the scatter plots to a hexa representation. For that we'll be passing the kind attribute and then we'll set it to be equal to hex. Let's see how we can do that. So we have SNS and then we'll call the joint plot method that Sivorn has and then we'll pass our x and y axis for x axis let's say we have total bill we'll be using the tips data set so total bill for our x axis and for our y axis we'll use tip and the data comes from our tips data set and we pass a fourth attribute or parameter known as kind and this time we we'll set it to be equal to hex. In the previous lecture we saw reg, right? REG. Now we are setting it to hex. So if we run this, we get a nice hexagonal representation of each variable. So this one hexagon is one point in our data set and so on. We can also replace this hexagons and histograms into, we can also replace the default scatter plots and histograms with kernel density estimates. For that we'll be passing the kind attribute and then set it to be equal to KDE. Let's look at that. So we have SNS that joint plot method and they will pass. So now we know X and Y attributes. X is our total bill and for Y we have tip. Data is coming from our tips data set and then this time we'll pass KDE for our kind attribute or parameter. So if we run this, we have a KDE of our variables, total bill versus tip. We can also do this for our iris data set. So SN, let me show you an example, sns.jointplot and then in the example we saw the relationship between sepal lengths and sepal widths. Let's do that. So we have sepal lengths and for our y-axis we can use sepal widths. You can use the other attributes also like petal length or petal width. It doesn't matter. And our data is coming from the iris data set and for kind we'll pass kde and oh, for our data let me remove the quotation so the data comes from the iris data set let's run it again so here we have a kernel density estimate by using joint plots for our sepal length and sepal widths variables and we saw that we could pass the color attribute to see different colors so if we want our joint plot to be let's say red we can pass the color attribute and set it to red or whatever color that we want there is also another attribute or parameter known as stat function stat 
underscore function func I will show you how we can use this attribute to see another kind of graph by using joint plot let's use the Spearman value for the stat function attribute for that we will need to import the scipy stat library so let's do that from scipy that stats module stats import we'll need to import what is known as spearman r let's do that and next show you the graph by using joint plot so sns that joint plot as usual we'll pass our x and y attributes x total bill and then y we'll use tips tip and data comes from our tips data set and then let's pass this attribute stat func so let's pass it here stat func We'll set it to be equal to Spearman R, which we imported. So Spearman R. And then, yeah, that should be good. Let's run it. So this Spearman R will give us a kind of sphere representation of our data, our variables. So the total bill and tip is not a good, they are not good variables for our Spearman. So what we'll do is we'll see the relationship between two other variables that will be good candidates for our Spearman. So instead of total bill and tip, we'll use size and total bill. That will give us a nice Spearman graph so let's do that let me copy and paste this line and then for our x-axis let's use size and for our y-axis we'll use total bill so data comes from the tips data set and then we have stat func spearman r let's run it now So here you see a nice Spearman representation of our graph by using joint plots. So we have size and then total bill. Again, we can change the color of our graphs to whatever we like. Let's say color, we can set it to be blue. One other thing I, I would like to show you is that we can pass two other attributes known as ratio and size that will help us make the marginal plots bigger let's see how we can do that so sns that joint plot and then let's use total bill as our x-axis total bill and for our y-axis we'll use tip and our data comes from the tips data set and let's pass the size and ratio attributes so for ratio let's say four and size let's pass a value of six size let's set it to be six so we can adjust this based on what the graph appears okay let's run it so that's why it looks like what if we pass a ratio of let's say seven let me just copy this and paste it in a new cell and pass a ratio of let's say seven and run it you see it's our marginal plot is smaller than the previous one right so this is with a ratio of four and now with a ratio of seven 
let me paste that again and pass a ratio of let's say one and run it uh, doesn't look so good right let's pass a ratio of maybe two so now it's a little bit bigger and we can also adjust the size attribute let's say a size of three and run it so it's much smaller size of five and so on so you can play around with this ratio and size attributes until you come with what you want for the marginal plots or the entire joint plot i just wanted to show you that we can use those attributes ratio and size to adjust how the marginal plots or the joint plot in general appears Great. Thank you, everyone. And I'll see you at the next lecture.